Hey everybody, we are in the fifth installment, I believe, of Perusing Pattern Books. Today we are going to take a look at a couple more and just go through the catalogs that we have and see what kinds of patterns are of interest to me and perhaps to you as well. So this first one we're going to take a look at is the Spring 2020 issue of the Willow Yarns catalog. And as before, we're just going to go through page by page and see if anything really inspires us. Let's see. So far, things are looking pretty good. Um, I'm very interested in this one here, number E. This is the Candice Dolman Top. It says, energize your way with the vivacious shades of Willow Tranquility Yarn and this cheerful top designed by Sandy Prosser. Uh, it does have extra small through 2X sizes, requires 5 or 6 or 7 or 8 or 9 or 10 cakes in the color Street Fair. And this one here is actually a pretty close match to the image that is displayed. It looks like this is a little, not quite as punchy as the, the knitted sweater, but for, for what it looks like, I think is really, really close in color. Um, it doesn't say... Yay! Perfect. So it does say needle size number 6 and 24 inch circular needles as well as deep pan. So I'm hoping that means it's knit in the round and not knit flat. So we're going to go ahead and take our chances here. <clears throat> and uh, for me, just to get the whole kit for the 2X size would be $62.99. Otherwise, um... The pattern itself is, it's weird, it says pattern $4.99 and then it says download. Okay, so maybe if you bought it and had it mailed to you, it's the same price as the download. You know, if you did a digital one versus a paper copy. So let me go ahead and flag this page. And it is a very high level difficulty. It's four out of four on the knitting scale as far as how hard it is to do, but uh, it's okay. One of these days. Let's see here. Looks like some other crochet, some knits, some kids wear. I'm not really a shrug person. I may have mentioned before, but I like everything to be... Fully cloaked. I used to be a shrug person when I was like maybe 17. <laughs> it's been a while. This one here, this uh, glacial shawl is three out of four difficulty. I like this one. It, um, let's see, this, oh, it's glittery. Interesting. I mean, I can't see any sparkle, but uh, the display of the yarn here does have a little twinkle right there, I guess, to show, and a couple others to show that it's sparkly yarn. Um, glittery Shawl will see, steal the show at your winter soiree, designed by Jen Lucas with Willow Jubilee yarn, 68 by 17 inches, that's the measurement, it requires two balls in 0909 Blue Ridge. So once again, hopefully you guys can see the difference in color here, but this is more of like a purpley blue, almost like that uh, denim-y kind of color blue, and then this one is more of like a dusty blue, maybe? I don't know. I'm not getting cornflower, but maybe kind of cornflowery. 
But yes, this versus this, not the same color. And surprisingly, other instances of this color I've liked, but in this display, I prefer the, the color that is showing for this shawl. Um, I could probably still buy the pattern and not necessarily the, the yarn because I don't really like glittery stuff. So I'll flag this one too. Let's see. This is nice. I would, I honestly want to see like maybe one more color in here. The, the stripes are so bold. It kind of reminds me of a circus tent. I don't know. That's just how I feel about that one. Um, I believe we saw this uh, tank before. Right, because it's not the size that would fit me. So we'll pa pass on that one. I like this shirt. Let's see. This is D. Mm, oh, and it does come in 2X. So this is the Flurry T. The elongating pattern of this tee designed by Sandy Prosser will make it a staple item in your wardrobe. Made with Willow Farmhouse cotton yarn, sizes extra small through 2X requires 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, and vertigris is over here. So, you know, get this. there's like a little bit of a shadow here. No, that's actually not a shadow. That's just the way that the book looks. Okay. Uh, you know, it's not too off. I think the lighting here is a lot brighter because I want to say G is knit in the same color. Yeah, okay. So if you look at these two, this is more of like a minty green in the picture, and this is more of like a sagey kind of, like a little bit more of like a reduced color there, not as saturated. And then I feel like all three of these are different. Like the two yarns used, well, the same yarn, different pattern, and the ball of yarn here are all just slightly different. This is like a more mint. This is a little like closer to a sage, I think, like a little bit more tonal. And then this one has like just like a very flat look. So I will still flag this shirt. I do prefer this color over the mintier one, but it's the same ball of yarn. And that's again one of those things it's like photography of the samples is such a pain because you never know if you're gonna get the right thing when you buy it based on lighting and if they're trying to make the the colors look better than they are then that's a little deceitful and it happens in a lot of places you know anywhere you go either you buy some clothes you're buying some paints or a piece of furniture you never know hey what's this one a a oh it has a 2x size so this is the monet knit top incorporate the delicate simplicity of the chic top and casual or upscale looks designed by Sa man sandy prosser is on a roll she must be like an in-house designer or something um willow stream yarn Sizes small through 2x, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3 balls, and 0016 cl cl Closone. C L O I S O N N E. Is that French? Holy moly. This color here, because there's that shadow, doesn't look quite 
I like this one. I like this color better than the sample, um, the little color swatch display here. This is like a bright, kind of like a sky blue almost. And this is a little more muted there, like a dustier version of it. But I do like this tropical. So if tropical is true to color, I'd probably knit it in tropical instead of the display. Or maybe even blueberry jam, or maybe even honeycomb, or chino, or silver moon. Ooh, maybe even garnet. So I'll flag it. It's also three out of four difficulty. I love looking at the swatches like this to see all the different colors. I think that's nice. Hey, here's a... Oh, shoot. You know what? Did I see if that was knit flat? Probably not. Uh... No, it isn't. It's a street. Ah, darn it. I really like that. You know what? I'm not being very consistent, but I think I will leave that flag in there, and then if I can figure out an article, I think, I don't know if I saw an article or somewhere something was saying, like, how to convert something knit flat into a round, knit in the round, and maybe if I get to that level... I can try it with this tank because I really like it. And there are a lot of things I really like, but I refuse to knit flat. So if I can't find it, I'm just going to have to not do that one because I am so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired of knitting flat and seeming. Oh, I hate it. Um, What's this? Circulars. Okay, so back to this guy. Barberry hat and scarf. Ooh, it's so cute. Wait, so how is this a scarf? Oh no, am I looking at the right one? Yes. Is this not a cowl? Because it's round? Well, I guess, I mean, because it's not an infinity scarf. But it's not really big. Yeah, I still don't know what the different, like, how do you decide what's a scarf, what's a neck warmer, what's a cowl, what's a shawl, what's a wrap? I don't know! Um... <laughs> But let's see. Rustic Shades put a sophisticated spin on this stylish set designed, again, by Sandy Prosser. We could make this a dream. <laughs> Take a shot every time Sandy Prosser's name comes up in a Willow magazine, but I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> made with Willow Daily Worsted Yarn. Hat is a 20 inches circumference and 8 and a half inches long. Okay, so here it says cow. Cow is 20 inches circumference and 10 inches long. Requires two balls and 0064 cream soda, heather, and one ball each. And 0067 sugar maple, heather, and 0073 coral bell, heather. Needles 5 and 6, 16 inch circulars, and size 5 DPN. And the kit itself is $27.99. I like this colorway. I'm not really... Well, I say I like it here. What are the colors in real life? Okay, so cream soda is here. This, compared to these, it's probably closer. I feel like this is definitely more creamy cream. And this like a little bit like a tinge more brown and this is more of like gray tone compared like as I'm looking at it right now with my lighting this does not look like that again um did I say pumpkin heather no but pumpkin heather does look like this one here's sugar maple heather and what was the other one coral bell yeah I don't know this, these, I don't know. They're not bad colors, but I feel like 
this. This one looks closer to the pumpkin heather because it's not as light looking as this, but sugar maple is so close to pumpkin heather and they're very different in little squares. So, I don't know. Oh, I will go ahead and flag that one since it is knit and the round. I'm wondering if this is unisex because my cousin's son who is my cousin once removed. My family just does re refuse, refuses to accept that that's the family tree um, deviation of your relative. It's cousin once removed, and then your second cousin is a different different category. It's not your cousin's child um, in that aspect. So it's cousin once removed. And he is my cousin once removed, and he likes red. So this is kind of like his color scheme, but I don't know if this is like a girly pattern or not. Like, would he like it? He's like 11, so I don't know. <laughs> Let's see, what do we have here? Hmm. Well, this one down in the corner is pretty cute, and... This scarf, oh, looks like there might be some cabling, but it's only level 2 difficulty, and this is 3 out of 4. So, let's see. Um, let's go to C. C is Philomena, Philomena Shawl, a vine of lace and cables, and Willow Daily DK yarn lends a natural beauty to this elegant shawl from designer Cheryl Murray. 23 by 70 requires four balls in double, well, triple O fig. Mm -hmm. And yes, kit is $27.99, or the pattern itself, print or download, is $4.99. So, I mean, I like those yarn overs. It looks pretty cute. It's simple, but it has a twist on it, so it's not, like, too crazy crazy. Um, what about that other one I was looking at? Uh, D. Appalachian Scarf. A series of cables and willow daily worsted yarn creates peaks and valleys on this mountain range-inspired scarf designed by Teresa Sinoweth. 10 by 60 requires three balls and 0065 sterling heather. Hmm. Also on straights. Not too bad. I will flag this page for both of them. Sticky. Oh. Okay, there's still a little bit of sticky on it. Hmm. What I thought that was um crochet. What the heck is that? Oh, I thought it was a blanket. It's a shawl. Holy cow. And it's only three out of four difficulty. That's amazing. It's really pretty. Um let's see. This is Lucinda Shawl. Unique textures create a versatile shawl you can pair with your favorite casual outfits. Designed by Melissa Liebman with Willow Glacier Yarn. 32 by 72, or sorry, 35 by 72. Requires 8 balls and sediment. This is sediment. This is the kit. Do you guys see the difference? Oh, man, that lighting. This is darker. This looks darker. Even, like, this little bit where it's not, like, in shadow looks a little different. But, again, this is against white background. Maybe if it was against the same background so you could really get a true image of the color. It's not bad. I, I, feel, I feel impartial to this one. 
as I do the um, the wrap itself. Um, very pretty. I'll flag it. Why not? And it's nice because you could get the kit if you want. Kit is $34.99 or you can just buy the pattern. So maybe if you had some yarn you wanted to use yourself that you already had or a different brand in mind, a different m m uh, fiber count, fiber content, then you could do something else. What is, oh yes, what is Glacier Yarn made out of? Glacier Yarn is natural. Natural wool, natural wool is strengthened with acrylic, then softened with nylon sheen and this warm yet airy worsted weight blend available in a range of frosty heathered hues to elevate your creations. So it's 50% wool, 25% acrylic, and 25% nylon, and you have to hand wash it. Okay. And it's $3.99 a ball. Not bad. Let's see, how much do you get? Uh, it's 50 grams and it's 95, or I'm sorry, wow. It's 98 yards for $3.99. Um, yes, very nice. Hmm, whoa. Who thought this was crochet? I sure did. It's knit. That looks like crochet. Maybe because of like the big holes in it kind of look like those crochet granny square kind of thing. Um, what is it? It is, it is the Clara Mod Scarf. What? Am I looking at the right thing? No, I'm not. That's not a scarf. Uh, it is the, ah, Saturday Shrug. Oh, it's a shrug. Never mind. I don't want that. I'm seeing the front of it now. Mm, not for me. But it's cool. It's just not my style. Ooh, what about this guy? What's this? Can you guys see? Oh, yeah, you guys. I am still in frame. You can see me pointing down here if you are watching. It is the Mojave Skis. What? Oh my gosh, why can't I, I, am I having like a sugar coma? Like what is going on? <laughs> Mojave Skies shall get it together, girl. Um, <laughs> cool greens create a refreshing oasis in the golden sands of the summery shawl made with Willow Wheels yarn. 22 by 48 requires two cakes and triple eight Paisley, Paisley, oh, okay, there it is, have I seen that one before somewhere, I mean, I've probably seen it in another Willows, but have I seen something knit with that, no, oh, I'm thinking of, um, one of the other interweave magazines we looked through, it had, like, this really pretty shawl, wrappy thing, um, it was, like, together with some other, like, Aztec-inspired pattern things. And it was, like, one that didn't have a tribal pattern. So I was like, okay, I feel a little bit better about knitting that one. Because I do not want to culturally appropriate any patterns that are specific to a certain culture, heritage, ancestral meaning, and all that stuff. So here we go. Uh... This is a three out of four difficulty. And again, colors look darker in the picture than they do displayed in the cake, but I'm thinking more like carrots. And I don't know, maybe because of that blue and the, the display looking more like a light green and the cake itself is like, mm. but... I'll go ahead and flag it. I will flag it for the heck of it. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. I'm looking. I'm looking at this pullover vest down here. Um, very pretty color in the display. I'm guessing it's grass. I'm guessing it's grass. Oh, yep, I see. Grass right there. So it says, pullover vest. Destined to become a wardrobe classic, this vest made with Willow Everest yarn is designed for layering and pairs up perfectly with slacks, jeans, skirts, and leggings. And it's small through 2X, requires uh, 6, 7, 8, Nine, ten balls, and double O twenty three, which is grass, and it's needles size five and seven, twenty four inch, um, U.S. size five and seven and twenty four inch circulars. So hey, circulars pattern, um, three out of four difficulty. Not again. Uh, it's definitely brighter as the dis, uh, the sample knit of the pattern than the swatch of the color, but it's not a color that I wouldn't mind wearing, so I will flag it. I mean, of course you don't have to wear it in green, but some of the time the color displayed is actually a color I would like, or vice versa. The color on the bowl looks better. One of the two, like, there's something there that catches my eye, and I'm like, hmm, I could, I could do that. Otherwise, I would probably be fine with, um, leaf down here, or basil even, I like that. Even emerald, uh, that's a pretty one. We have all their books and things. Actually, something caught my eye. What was that? Oh, it was this. I like that blanket. It's probably a baby blanket, which is fine. Wait, no, oh, it's crochet. Boo. I mean, boo for me because I don't know yet, but maybe one day. Oh, cute. That is cute. I don't remember seeing that in the other mag. Hey, there are more of those smart sticks. Now, I have some Knitter's Pride smart sticks that are DPNs that are 8 inches long. They're just honking long needles. And I also have some smart sticks that are marketed as Jimmy Bean's wool patent pending brand so I'm not sure what's going on there but they're the same product the same name just different marketing I guess I'm not sure uh what else do we have hmm Here is a blanket. I like this one. It's three out of four difficulty. Sunshine throw. Watch your stitches shine as you display this sunny throw knit with universal yarn, cotton supreme sapling yarn, 38 by 39 inches. That's the dimensions. Uh, requires seven hanks and color of choice. State color number. What does that mean? Um, was that a mat? Was that an accident? <laughs> what does that mean? State color number. Um, but it's probably. What is it made out of? Maybe it's yellow. Oh yeah, it does. Okay, yeah, here it is. Yellow is right there, and it's yellow. Um, I kind of like sea foam here. Well. Gray, black one. Gray's good if you want like a neutral looking one. Hosta or Hosta is pretty too. Kind of looks like a very dark like hunter green. Um, 
from what I can tell, or like a dark charcoal or something like that. I feel like it's closer to a green, though. Hmm. Hmm. so crazy to think about all of the knitting in the world that there is. It's just so fascinating that there's so many creators out there, so many different pattern kits, so many ways to knit. Hey, what's this? I'm like a squirrel. I've, I've My attention has been caught. Something here looks cool. What is this? I like this color. It's like it's called oats, and I was thinking, like, it looks like a creamy bowl of oatmeal, and I love it, and I want to eat it. I just love that color. Something about it. It's, like, very homey? Mm hmm Something. I don't know. Let's see. This is Bloss Felt Blanket. The honeycomb texture of the stylus blanket is knit from the center out. Hmm. Interesting. With Barico Vintage Yarn. 45 by 45. Requires six hanks in color of choice. There it goes again with that state color number. Like, what does that mean? And then here it goes again. State color number from left. State color number from below. I think they may have messed up with production. That could have been, like, part of the template, and then it was, like, a key area where they're like, okay, this part, you just copy-paste what you're using, um as displayed but then they they do it later so it does say oats eh. I'm not as jazzed about oats in the sample as I am in blanket form but I will flag this anyway because there are some other really cool colors that could be used I like sapphire blue is one of my favorite colors so if that is what it looks like I would I would like that one. Eh. Okay, that didn't come off the way I wanted it to. Let's try again. Still not as clean, but better. Hmm. Hmm. Anything here? Um. I like this color. Whatever that is. Maybe it's mallard. Oh, 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 that's cute. A little raccoon basket. Crochet. That's a nice one. Rainbow blanket. Also crochet. Crochet. Okay, we're in the crochets world. It, this is knit, but... Oh, that pattern is, like, giving me, like, this trippy feeling, like, like those, um, hypnotizing wheels with the swirl that keeps going. Something about, like, the way the shape is, is, is like, messing with my eyeballs. <laughs> hmm. Wow, this is knit. I was expect. oh, can you guys see what I'm po pointing at? I was thinking this was going to be crochet. Because this is crochet, and that's giving me kind of the same effect. Whoa. I don't think I've seen a circle blanket before. This is the throw. 
This is knit. I like that. Um, let's see. That is the, this is a Harlow Throw. Decorate your home with tweed made easy. The striking colors of Willowboro worsted yarn elevate this classic woven pattern. 36 by 48 requires three balls each and double O or triple O four maize, triple 20. Or no, double 24 orchid and double 34 wild heather. Huh. You know, I might... I keep jumping around because my pen pal slash former fourth grade teacher is owed a blanket from me. And I haven't started hers yet. And at first I thought I wanted to do one thing. Then I wanted to do something else. But considering how much is in... Let's see... What is this made with? Worsted something. Oh, burrow. And how much is in burrow? Burrow is worsted 197 yards. So 197 yards is in one little ball of worsted burrow. And I have three Karen one pounds, and they're different colors, but if they're three of each, I could easily use one to make one each color to make this because uh, Karen one pounds dye lots always the same. They have the same chemicals for every single one pound kit they do so if I run out worst case scenario I could still go to the store when it opens again and get more of that color because it's always the same dye lot um so maybe I'll do that maybe I'll download this pattern instead and it's only five dollars that's something I think I can can spend I have five dollars it will mean I'll be glued to my computer to knit because I uh, I don't have a printer at my house. And my printer at my job is, of course, at my job that is closed at the moment. More of those poofs. I flagged those before. Hmm. I like this. But it's crochet. All right, we are finished with the first book of the session. So this was again the Willow Yarns Spring 2020 magazine. Um, and yeah, tell me what you think of this one. Let's go on to the next. Next up, we're going to take a look at the interweave knits issue of. Um, what issue is this? This is something, uh, spring 2019. So a whole year ago, uh, and you want to, I want to say that this model looks very familiar. Um, there used to be this magazine called Dilia's and another one called Alloy Apparel and Alloy is still around, but they seem to cater to like really tall people now, but they used to be kind of like, Dillia's, but like more of their formal casual side, and then Dillia's was more of like the cool, fun, and hanging out for young person side. So I don't know, but this lady, there was a model who had been a model for them for years and years and years and years and years. So I was like, I'm pretty sure she's like in her, her 30s or something, or maybe she started modeling in her teens. I don't know, but she looks very familiar. She also kind of looks like Kesha. <laughs> To me, if you know the, the singer Kesha. But anywho, we're going to go ahead and get into this one. And this is more like some patterns and some advertisements. If you haven't already watched a... Um, and, and there are articles too. But if you haven't watched any of my previous ones where I've looked through an Interweave Knits magazine, then uh, you're in for a treat. 
What is that? And so there are some things I've flagged already. Um, this page has a flag in it. You can see right here. And why did I flag this page? What was I doing? I think I liked this thing. Number one. The, yep. Yep, yep, yep. I'm looking at it. It is the linen bento bag from Ambatilia. It's simple, elegant, personified. It comes in three sizes. Perfect for whatever size project you're working on. Oh, yeah. And it's at Fringe Supply Co. Fringe is like so bougie, very high end, very expensive, like crafter, like high end crafter person site. Um, they have a lot of really aesthetically pleasing things. If you're into kind of like a rustic -y vibe of stuff, um, very like. I would say like the West Elm or the restoration hardware of crafty people site. I don't know. It's very like very put together. I don't know. Let me know if you've been there before. If you have anything from them. I know the field bags are really popular. My project bag I have is inspired by their field bag at a fraction of the price. So I'm happy. Um, these are cute. I did not flag anything on that page, so we'll continue on until I see something as to why. Because it's been a while since I looked through this one, so why did I flag what I flagged? Do I remember? This looks cool, but what is it? Is it something I already flagged? I don't know. Let's see. The rose bush pullover starts in a... Ooh. Oh... With a tubular cast on. Oh, I've done that before. I That was tricky. Um, it works seamlessly from the top down. That's nice. Savor knitting. The circular yoke. Short rows. And lace and eyelet pattern. And this ultra smooth lightweight yarn that blends merino wool and baby camel. Yarn is the Plymouth Yarn Camello Merino. Is it Camello or is it Cameo? Because it's two L's. Is it pronounced like Spanish or is it just two L's? Don't know. But it is very pretty. Oh, that looks hard. <laughs> All those dang yarn overs. Is that lace? What's going on? Oh, man. Uh, geranium shawl. By Anne Jones. Designed with a speckled fingering weight cashmere merino yarn, the geranium shawl is worked in one piece from the center neck down and outward to the points. Lace triangles and textured triangles create a meticulously symmetrical geometric fabric and double moss stitch borders the shorter sides. Yarn. Oh, hey, the plucky knitter. I um, I have a tab open on my computer of the plucky knitter. Um, their yarn looks really cool. This is the bellow fingering. That's nice. Um, also very cool sweater. This is the cat catalia. Pullover, variegated merino nylon yarn does most of the visual work in the top down. Okay, seamless Catalia pullover, giving different knitters diverse color pull results. The boxy pullover calls for a tubular cast. God dang, tubular <laughs> cast on, and subtle slip stitch color work motif that adorns the circular yoke and cuffs. Yarn is ancient arts fiber crafts. Passion 8. Um, honestly, I'd probably pass on this one because it's short. It, I could always make it longer, though. Um, I like a longer one. What was the other one? Was that one you want long? No, it was not either. But I feel like it would look cute with a skirt or something. Hmm... Mm. 
Iris Cow. This looks hard. Joni Coniglio. The Irish cowl consists of a repeating lace pattern knitted in a tube. The pattern begins with a crochet chain provisional cast on and ends with instructions for grafting and pattern. Creating a totally invisible seam. Ooh, ooh, that sounds hard. Uh, let's see, begonia pullover. This, this is by Allison Jean. The one piece begonia pullover begins at the bottom with a leaf lace pattern that's worked around the body and shifts to a broken rib stitch pattern. Oh, broken rib stitch pattern that flows up through the ballet neck. This is no waist, there is no waist shaping, and the long sleeves and body are joined for raglan shoulder shaping in the Heavenly Baby Alpaca Silk. Sugarbush Yarns, Nanaimo, oh my, I'm probably butchering that. Uh, how is this broken? I'm trying to see, I think it was, uh... You, Jenny, if you're watching this one, who said that you like broken rib, I don't know if I can tell that this isn't rib. Isn't rib just knit one, purl one, or knit two, purl two? That doesn't look broken. It looks like rib stitch to me. How is it broken? Yeah, I'm looking at I can't tell that it's not rib. How is it broken? Um, hmm. All of these are very pretty. This is very pretty, but look at that detail. That's crazy. This is the Gardenia Stole by Cheryl Toy. The lace pattern of the pattering of the Gardenia Stole was inspired by angel wings and peacock feathers. The stole is worked flat and two peas. Oh, nope. Oh. Nope, nope. Um, <laughs> the Cleosia pullover is made especially for spring. With its open lace yoke and lightweight cotton silk yarn, the sweater is worked seamlessly. Hey, from the top down, and yoke increases are worked into the lace and traveling stitch pattern. The second lace pattern appears at the bottom hem. Yes, it does. Very nice. Yarn is Fibra Natura Papyrus, distributed by Universal Yarn. Hmm, cardigan. I'm liking this. Let's see how it's worked. Oh, no, nope, I'm looking at it right now. Seams work separately. Seams? Nope, nope. Alrighty. Okay, so here we are. Look. At the the patterns themselves so the rose bush pullover is three out of four difficulty hmm you know I don't know I don't know because it's talking about that provisional cast on and I really don't I want it to be easier than that uh, let's skip that one for now. I have already flagged this, um, geranium shawl, and it's a two out of four difficulty. Hey, hey, there we go. So, there's at least one. Why did I flag the back of it? I put a flag on the, I don't know why I put a flag on the back. It's just the same pattern. But maybe that was so I would know to try the pattern or um, like the graph instead of the writing. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking back then. Well, 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 the Catalia pullover is two out of four difficulty. This one is also tubular cast on, right? Yeah, provisional cat. Well, maybe not tubular, but pr 
provisional cast on. So maybe provisional isn't as bad because tubular cast on I've had to do for the um, the classic watch cap and the stockinette watch cap that I made from my knit head for the holiday series and those were a pain in the butt and such a pain to knit because you had to do like row one was like this and row two was like that and row three was like this other thing and I was like this is too much for a new knitter so I'll put a flag because I think because it's not a tubular cast on and it's just a provisional it won't be as stressful so I'll keep that in mind. Mm. Begonia pullover is three out of four difficulty. Um. Oh, okay, I get it. I'm looking at what a broken rib is. Round one, knit. Round two, knit one, purl one. And repeat that. And then repeat rounds one and two. So it's just, it's not consistent up the the garment, but it's, a, it's still a knit and a purl, but then you have a break of knit in between each one. Okay. Got it, got it. Let's see. Any other patterns of the way? There are some. I know there are some, but what are they? These are cute. Can you guys see these? Uh, little bracelets. Mmm. Farmer's market knits. Casual designs for weekend indulgences. This is a eucalyptus pullover. Lace panels of the eucalyptus pullover are inspired by Afghans. That's the design. Oh, this is by Ellen Coy, by the way. Uh... Designed by Afghans that the designer's grandmother has made. This lightweight sweater is worked from the top down in one piece with raglan shaping. Short rolls are used at the neck for the best fit and the bottom for a slanted hemline. Yarn is Joe Sharp Mulberry Silk Georgette distributed by Kingfisher Yarn and Fiber. I could probably dig this one. It's all one piece. Oh, hello. Cardigan with pockets. Love pockets. Let's see. This is Fennel Cardigan by Jesse McKittrick. The Fennel Cardigan combines classic worsted weight wool, simple cables, pockets, and a button band. Oh, yeah. Buttons, too. Um, to create a timeless v-neck cardigan. This cardigan is worked from the bottom up. In pieces and seam. Pockets are roomy enough to hold sundry necessities. Well, if it wasn't seamed, I would be awful. Well, honestly, these cables look kind of hard, so maybe not. But I love the color. Love that it has pockets. It is my style. Um, this is the Rock Salt Gansey by Erin May Cyril. Looks tricky. More cabling. This is a sun chokes pullover. Sun chokes. Okay. Pockets and buttons. Hey, this is the ver. Bana Cardigan by Tori Gerbees. This remarkably cozy Verbena Cardigan is knitted seamlessly. Clap, 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 clap. Seamlessly. 
Oh, that's a good word. And bulky weight yarn from the bottom up. The textured fabric requires a simple stitch pattern and the shawl collar turn back cuffs and deep pockets give the sweater an extra comfortable feel. Yarn is Malabringo yarn. Chunky. Mm, mm, mm. Now that is something. I swear that lady used to model for that magazine. She has like the same nose and hair and lip shape. I just think it's her. This is nice. This is the Buds Pullover by Mon Dragger. Knitted in a single ply DK weight merino silk blend, the Buds Pullover is both lightweight and pleasantly warm. It's worked in the round from the bottom up in an all-over shifting rib pattern. Silk Blend's impressive variety of color options mean this very this wearable piece can find a home in any word wardrobe. The yarns are Mano Still Uruguay Silk Blend distributed by Fairmount Fibers. Now it's a good color, good length. One Peace. Hey, hey. This is the Whorehound Henley by Emily Ringelman. It looks simple. We have this um, two tone sweater here. Let's see. Thick and Tweety, Horhound Henley is knitted in the round. Hmm. From the bottom up, then hen comes the hem cuffs, offset button, placket, and neck are worked in fisherman's rib. The body and sleeves are stockinette. Sleeve stitches are picked up around the armhole, and the sleeves are knitted top. Down and around. Hmm. That's doable. Too bad my partner doesn't wear sweaters like this because um, I think that it would look nice on them. Let's see. What about this eucalyptus pullover? Um, three out of four difficulty. What sizes are there? This looks like it does go up to like a like a two x because this could be like a extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, two x, three x, maybe because it says fifty inches and a half, fifty and a half inches um, circumference at the underarm. And I think I'm closer to like a 46 and a quarter or the 48 and a half. I'm not very busty, but um, my hips where it falls is where I really have to think about. So somewhere around there. So I think that's the right size. I will flag it as a Possibly, maybe. Though it looks like it's going to take a long time. What? What? Am I missing something? I think I am. Maybe not. It's like a junk, the eucalyptus pullover, and then where is the, that's uh, 64, 65, 66, yep, I guess it is 67, 68. Hmm. I thought there was something else that we ran into before the fennel cardigan. I've seen this pop up 
um, at nitpicks and maybe somewhere else. Does anybody have this? The Knitter's Dictionary? Knitting Know How from A to Z by Kate Atherley. I wouldn't, I wasn't thinking about getting it, but I do like collecting themed books and thought it might have been something cool to pick up, but let me know if you have this one. What do you think? Is it helpful? I mean, with things being online nowadays, it's like, do I really need a reference book? But as a collector of sorts, maybe. Um, oh yes, here we go. Verbena Cardigan, three out of four difficulty. And it does look like it has the same size range and it's a looser fitting item. So I think I can flag this and then I'll just have to like double check the measurement of which size I want to go with. Ah! Let's try a better one here. I have to be really careful about pulling these. They are the worst. shouldn't be this hard to pull these tabs here. Um, oh yeah, the Buds Pullover. This one is also three. Man, these are challenging. This is a three out of four. I think this is why I stopped flagging the ones later because I wasn't at the confidence level or skill level to say, yes, I, even though I like these, would like to put them on my list of things to work on. So this, yeah, this also has a lot of good sizes. Finish size um, at underarms goes up to 62 and one fifth inches. That's an odd measurement, but uh, we'll go ahead and put that there. I'm sure in metrics, it's probably fine. Probably like a nice cute number that's not a strange fraction, but I'll put a flag on that one. Partner would not wear that, so that's a waste. And we're to the end. So once again, let me see if I could blah. all of the flags. Some of them are like overlapping each other, but we made a lot of what is all this dust on here? We made a lot of good progress. Um what did we call it really progress? We we looked through two whole magazines today. Get the other one here. So you could see we have a lot. Ah! Something fell out. What fell out? What fell out? Something. Oh, well, I had to find it in here somewhere, but something I thought was cool. I lost one of my flags because they don't stick very well. But we still have quite a few. Um, so thank you for spending another moment with me going over some of the knitting catalogs and magazines that I have. I still have a whole stack full, so we're just still at the tip of the iceberg, really, of what, what I have in my collection at of this point. But we'll just keep on going with it and see what other patterns are inspiring and fun and interesting and safe and are knitting around and are the right size and color <laughs> and all of those parameters to make a successful knitting experience. So thank you again so much for spending time with me and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!